Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Next video, I know I promised <laughs> engine, but there's other things being coming up. So watch this little video now. Um, also, after this one's actually going to be this headstock on this little bike here. It is loose and there's a front bearing problem as well. So the video after that will be the front bearing. So I said front end. It's always difficult because I find things as I'm going along that I'm just not happy with. Yes, it's been riding this way as it is, I'm not happy. So watch this next video, video after this one, front end, it's important to be honest with you, it really does make a difference to the ride, simple to do, I've been asked a lot of questions. Before I start though, thank you so much for the overwhelming responses, with messages I've had from all you guys saying welcome back, we love these sort of videos. Always worries me, the audience, I had a couple of dislikes, but overwhelmingly 2,100 views, just like that, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Right, watch this one. So battery is still on charge, and it is holding charge. Not impressed, I think you can buy this with speed fights, but you've got to rewire them. That is a speed fight relay. Now, I checked through all my other junk. Reeds, go on about them. Bendix, that's the dog that kicks out. You've got kickstart. There's the black CDI, there's a four pin CDI. This is the power relay I was talking about, and that sits right underneath. Um, both the same thing. Auto choke. Static coil I've mentioned before. I haven't got to get it off now. Very access to me, the rollers inside. Front caliper. Do you know I've got all this junk? Good thing is though, I was right on the other side of the indicator, missing one of them, so I've got one of them now, it's not going to be a white light, which is illegal by the way, and didn't have it in, and they were loose as well, not tightened up, but I went for my other junk, you know, still have a speed fire, carb, this often forgot about when no one's got a spark, you know, you always think CDI, worth checking, not the belt by the way, worth checking this HT, it's the coil, HT coil, with a plug as well. This one works, I remember testing it before. So I've got lots of little parts, and lucky I've still got some, but I hadn't got one of these, so I've had to buy one, what, 15 pound, managed to get one for seven quid. Um, needed though. Uh, battery has said still on charge, and it's holding 14 volts at present minute, still fully charged. And I went to this shop and bought some paint, heat proof paint, well worth it. This will get rid of, a little yellow exhaust. I'm going to rub all that down, take this off, rub it all down and spray that black. Now, while I want to do the water, undone that, took it off like I said and pulled it down and then I thought, oh, I'll just check the spark plug and that was really black and crap. And this is what I'm finding really hard. I said to you I'm going to do the front, then the engine, then I'll do the electrics. But the way I work is, I just think, I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll do this. And as I'm doing other little bits, I then, while I'm waiting, we'll do that. So, the spark plug I'm not supposed to take out until I'm doing the engine. <laughs> Whoops. So, you're going to have to watch all my videos. This is what I've said in many of my videos. People, you know, email me and say, Mark, which one is it? I can't remember. I did seven of them. You know, some of them are worth getting a cup of tea, sitting down and watching them. And it might be on, you know, a uh, static coil. But I move over to something else, brakes, rear brakes, front brakes, indicators. I just move around the bike and fixing things all the time. You know, that is a good plug. I'll just clean it up, don't need to replace it. It does start. The fuel cap, you know, I shouldn't have done that yet, but I noticed I hadn't got the rubber, found a rubber. And I said, I've got lots of little parts. Um, I haven't got a thermostat, and in the day, I know that it's going to have fresh antifreeze in here. It wasn't leaking any, obviously. Hadn't checked it for a while, but it's really old. Lots of little bolts. I've put this back on and wired it in. And this is what I'm trying to say, you know, this is just loose. And I started straight on this. Let me get a screwdriver. Because it was loose anyway. And that's the little bit I showed you. No cover. That's illegal. A white light. You get pulled over for that. This one's got one. That one hasn't. But also I'm going to take these up and clean these off as well. And the whole thing was loose. This is loose in here. So many nuts and bolts missing, loose. This is why I say, get something, check it all over. It's a necessity. Great having two mirrors. 
Now this isn't a slate for the previous owner, not at all. Done really well doing the bits that they've done. It's just not to my standard and not I'd feel happy saying to someone, here's a bike, here's a good bike. That's why I do all this. That's why you buy, you know, and, and you pay a little bit more sometimes. You don't necessarily get this from the shop, you know, and I've had this before, people say I put my bike in to the shop to repair the two things, it came back and broke down or something else. The shop won't repair what you haven't asked them to. They stopped doing that years ago. It's a shame, and a lot of people don't trust bike mechanics, and I totally agree with them. Sometimes it's better off doing it yourself, watching someone. I don't, don't just mean you've got to watch me all the time, I'm just saying that sometimes it's a really good idea watching someone, you go, ah, oh, that, ah, oh, this, you know. Um, this is half full of petrol, and yet when the gauge is only reading quarter, just under quarter. So I'm going to unplug this, because it just unplugs, and I'm going to take that out, and there's your fuel gauge. And it just goes up and down as it is. Is it the wrong way? Does it have WD-40? You know, I've mentioned this a lot of times with people, this little gauge, you know, really, really simple. It's not rocket science to get it in and out of there, but it really does help having it there and make sure it works properly. You can't necessarily gauge by the uh, clocks. Uh, MOT on this said miles. It's not miles, they're kilometers. Clear as day. How many MOTs? These are professional people who get paid a lot of money and they can't work out kilometers and miles per on their speedo. Do you know, I've seen MOTs done on these before. They say they couldn't check the front brakes. You do get torched, kneel down and look at them properly said it before, take your bike to a proper motorcycle MOT station. And that's not to say you're going to get any better than the car one, but you should do. The one I go to locally here, um, he's precise, he'll foul the bike if it's not road legal and if there's something majorly wrong. They're there for your own safety. The rear brake, that may be a bulb, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but again, that one I don't think is working either. So bulbs, screws, nuts, all that stuff is dangerous. Anyway, I've drained the water out, and I'm going to put nice fresh antifreeze in there. I am going to clean the plug up, pop that back in, and then we're going to paint this little exhaust bit here, take the bit off, and we'll get on with that. So I've popped in a new bulb, and now they're not going to flash, but now they are both working. Back side here, let's have a little look. They're not going to flash. Orange, but wait for it, and you can see it there. You just got to take that off and put it back on again. Then I'm going to wipe these up with a little cloth, and they look nice and clean and new. A couple of three days for this new one to come. I can't put any back on until I've done that. Clean the spark plug up, put that in. Actually, get cussed, trial now. People get the spark plug. I've replaced thousands, I'm not lying, thousands of spark plugs and I've always took them out of the packet and put them straight in uh, for Ducati Multistrada down to these little 50s. With the hyper sports bikes, yeah, you're going to gap them and make them pucker. For a little bike like this, we're talking thousands of a mil air, the bike will not notice at all. As long as it's not extra strapped down or it's really squished down, the bike will start every time. And if I'm not mistaken now, now that really really good let's pop some water in now ordinary blue ready mix got some pucker stuff for the uh, cars and stuff you can flush out if you really want to just again this will be a big help I've blew through it fill the whole radiator up this is ready mix now when I say about squidging the pipes, I mean these ones, make sure you get it all through. There's nothing in there yet. We'll keep going. You get the picture. And then you run the bike with the cap off, and that gets rid of any bubbles. Once it's warm, put the cap on, job done. Go for a nice little ride. Check it in a few 10, 20 miles, make sure it's still topped to the line, not completely up. Happy days. No problems at all. So, just got rid of the, well, yellow tumor on the side, my wife calls it. 
battery, well, after charging it for five hours now, eleven point two eight volts. Mm. We'll see what it holds. Might have to put on charge again. So the relay, this is the relay it should have had. Okay, this is a speed fight relay, not that little relay it had. And the only one I had, and I've got loads of junk still from speed fights and stuff like that. The only one I had didn't work, so I had to buy one of them, £15. I managed to get one for £7.50. Um, I can't know, it reads a lot, and people don't understand these reads. They should be tight. They're underneath your carburetor, under the manifold, don't often go, but when they do, your bike ain't going to run properly. Um, that is a oil CDI. This is one of your cheap little CDIs on the other side. Great if you've got them and you can upgrade them, but they often blow if they're not for uh, the right ones. Pattern parts, so Ludix. Ludix and Persia Speed Fight were all the same. A lot of parts were the Speed Fights used. That's the little dog that kicks out for the starter as you kick start. So that kick starts out and goes into this and vice versa, kicks it over. The Bendix, I've said one of these, I've got quite a few of these, you know, I'll just sell them actually. I've got 100cc ones which are like gold dust um, and the teeth are different. Now these are your power regulators, I didn't need to change them, different size but the same thing, okay. And this will regulate your power, sometimes you get like a pulsing on your lights. It can be a power regulator, it can be a stator being really filthy. Um, these stator coils in here get really, really bad, cogged up with crap and they don't get the full voltage through. Okay, so it's either one of these. Um, oil pump, now I've mentioned this quite a lot before. Um, this is a manual one and that's electronic one. You know, they only work when you start the bike up and it'll be little putts of oil coming out of there, you'll know it's working. Now, the air filter. Didn't realize I've got another one of these. Often, I always chuck that one away, you get more air, um, bike runs a lot better. Now, spark plug on that was black, okay? Um, might just take this off could run even better. Sometimes I've done it before and it won't run at all. It's just as it is. Got a sport, let's leave that there. Got a sports exhaust on this one, which was yellow, you're gonna see it in a second. Um, and again, I've just, while I'm going around, I've painted it. Um, there's your auto chokes, and they just come in and out, but there you go. Right, other little crap bits I've got here. Um, didn't need them all, because the end of the day I was after this. And I didn't bloody have one, annoyingly enough. But there you go, I can put all my crap back in there. Ooh, another read. Um, indicators are sorted, I had loads of these. Not many covers, to be honest with you. Again, these are quite hard to keep hold of. I've used them over the years. So let's have a look at the exhaust quickly, shall we? It's no longer yellow. Um, bloody hell, that was hard paint. I think it's like floor yellow paint, I don't know. It was really, really on there. Took me ages to scratch as much as I could off and I couldn't get the whole lot off anyway. But I've took this bit off to make sure I can paint all of it over. And I'm gonna clean up bits and bobs as I go along anyway. Water's all done now, which is a bonus. And the indicators, as I said, at least they're on now and they all work. But we're gonna have a look what they look like. Just nicer when you see them clear and I'm gonna clean these up as well. I've bought another one of these, because it's cracked there. Um, parts should be coming in a couple of three days, along with the mud guard, which I really want to put on here as well. So we are coming along nicely. So, bear with me. That's the end of this one. I have no idea. I've only got four boulders in here. I'm going to be taking these in part and having a look in a little while and seeing how the variator system is in here and how the boulders are. You know, I want this bike to uh, perform really well. You know, I don't want the person thinking that they've got a dud bike, it pulls away slowly. So I'm going to be taking the variator off, cleaning, checking, weighing them. Uh, I think somewhere, yeah, here you go, look, I've got a, another set somewhere. Little bits and bobs everywhere, to be honest with you. I, I, I never really wanted to get rid of all the speed bike parts. I should just bundle up and stick it on eBay and sell the bloody lot of it. Um, but then again, that came along and I've had a few little bits that have been quite helpful. And there we go. That's that one done. As I said, now coming up is the front end. Front wheel bearing, headstock. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay with me. Watch the next couple. I think it's going to put about six now, if I'm honest with you. So many little bits and bobs I've got to do um, to this bike to get it what I would like to class as road worthy. Take care of yourselves on the road. Obviously, I'll cut that bit out. Can't help it. Can't help it.